Reacting quickly in an emergency was part of a test for students in Osseo this weekend. Students from all over the state participated in the 30th annual State Emergency Care Competition. As Sonia Goins reports, students interested in going into health care were tested in situations that mimic what happens in real life. We're going to ask for immediate transport. 25 teams from all across the metro packed Osseo Senior High School. Is she bleeding at all? Where they were put to the test in delivering emergency care. This is the future here with these kids. You know, this is their first chance to get in health care. And I can go through hundreds of kids that have come through the Osseo program that are now in health care. Osseo High School teacher Gary Leafblad walked us through the competition. Here's this young lady. I mean, she's got burns to the face. So with that, they have to comfort the patient. Are you talking to her and reassuring the patient? The students were given three different scenarios and a written exam. Pulse is 76, regular and strong. One scene involved a person cutting down a tree. You know, the tree has fallen. When it fell on him. So you got someone pinned, and then they're going to be doing some CPR with this one. Another involved a chemical spill. Both patients uh, have sulfuric burns. They have to irrigate the wounds. They got the blood pressure cuffs, so they're taking vitals at all times. Students had to work fast while keeping the patient calm. I think that we worked really well together and that we all have our strengths and weaknesses and I think that uh, bounced off of each other quite well. Her CMS has gone down since we backboarded her. Perhaps the most challenging test involves someone who had a diabetic emergency and students needed to treat the patient in the dark. So they turned out the lights and we used our headlamps and what that other flashlight gear we had and did what we could to get the mission accomplished. Students Tommy Firestone and Royce Witterhan are both fire explorers and plan to use what they learn. For me it's the factor of helping people and making somebody's day on their worst day. Being able to see people smile even if they have the worst day that they can like he was saying um, just uh, being able to help them. Is the patient responsive? Experts say the test will help in real life. But these kids are something special. They're uh, learning a skill and they're going to be able to use it down the road. They're not just going to be the ones standing on the sidelines. They're going to jump in there. I know first aid. I know CPR. I can help. In Osseo, Sonia Goins, 12 News. Out of 25 competing teams, Spring Lake Park took first, second, and third place.